guys so today i'm going to be sharing some free products i got with you i did get these free uh for testing purposes but these are going to be all my personal opinions on them they came from none other than influencer this is one of the absolute best sites to get some free stuff you don't get it super often usually maybe every couple of months but it's usually full size a lot of its luxury products there's a little bit of drugstore products as well in the past i've gotten um some hair stuff i've gotten the lancome mascara i've gotten cake mixes i mean it varies a lot <clears throat> these products are from origins and this is a skincare company which is why i have nothing on my face right now because i want to be able to test these out for you and while i look this up what i received was a moisturizing mask so i tweeted the company and asked them and they said that i do not have to use the mask and wash it off they said here oh all this flashback that the mask can be used as a makeup primer which is incredible because i've been using smashbox primer forever and i love it and i don't know that i would want to switch but if i found something amazing and i just got a jar of it for free why not try it out so in the little box we have this card and it says everything that i got which is going to be the original skin matte moisturizer the renewal serum and the retexturizing mask now i used the mask last night and just to save me from having to edit these in it is just your average mask you leave it on i put it on 10 minutes later took a shower washed it off and it did make my skin feel really tight made it feel really smooth and the products themselves smell amazing so this was the mask i got which is not a full size but this is just kind of for testing purposes that way you get more than one product so then after that was over a few minutes later i put on the serum which also smells amazing um this is all with willow herb i believe that is in all of them or well that's in the serum and then rose clay is in the moisturizer but the main product we got to test out was this matte moisturizer and i haven't tested it out yet um if you actually want to buy it you can get it from sephora for 38 dollars and it doesn't look very big but i'm gonna imagine that you don't need to use a whole lot so it probably goes a long way and it has this on top of it just to kind of keep you from spilling any of it and this is what it looks like Ooh, almost spilled some out it is very moisturizing has kind of a citrusy smell i let the kids smell it and they said that it smelled kind of like candy to them so it does seem like a great product so i'm going to zoom in so you can see kind of how my pores look now then we're going to put this on speed it up wait till it's all the way dry and see how they look when we're finished so let's zoom in on these pores now my pores are terrible if you can't tell my face is very uneven and i do get breakouts very often so that's a very regular thing for me basically all you have to do there are no instructions on here but if i can use this like a primer then i'm guessing i can just scoop out a little bit and i'm going to dot it on my face just a little bit in every area and once i get a little bit of it everywhere so that i can smooth it out good i'm just gonna rub it into my face my hands are clean as well as my face because i do want to make sure that i'm giving this a completely fair shot and i do think i got too much out so this may take a little while to dry um once i'm finished i'm also gonna put my makeup on top of it when it's all the way dry just so that y'all can see how the makeup applies on top of it and i've noticed that the more i rub it in it's definitely getting in the skin very easily 
Um, feels great, smells great. I wish y'all could like smell it through the video because it smells really, really good. Like, I'm not sure if this is a product they carry in stores, but if it is, then y'all should go to Sephora if you have one close by and just smell it because it smells amazing. And literally, I barely even had to dip into it and I think I still probably got too much. <clears throat> so, we're just gonna give this a second. And it's actually, it's pretty dry already. So let me just go ahead and zoom you in. And my pores still look bad, but they definitely look a little bit better. Let's see if I can get this to focus like right in here. You can tell that my pores are not nearly as big as they were. Now my face in general is just rough. Like when I don't have on makeup, y'all see at the beginning of my videos, my face is always rough so that is not anything to blame on the product but it does feel really good um, I have super sensitive skin I haven't reacted to it weird at all even after the mask and the serum last night so now what I want to try for y'all is to just go ahead and put some foundation on keep with the Sephora products use my Kat Von D partially because it's Sephora and partially because that is the only foundation I own. Let me adjust my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And like I always do, I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And I actually need a little extra. And I know I'm going to need some extra shape tape today because I have this monster that just won't go away been irritating me like crazy and I tried to let it breathe this week and didn't wear hardly any makeup at all and it's still just there okay so I've got my foundation on and we are gonna take this nice crown oval brush and just go ahead and blend this out on my face um, I am hopefully fingers crossed getting a new foundation brush in my boxy charm that is one of the variations and I'm super hoping for it because I would love to try out a regular brush for my foundation I just haven't found one yet that I am a big fan of so we have this is all blended in now. Make sure we blend it down on your neck. Don't ever forget to do that or you'll look like you're wearing a mask. Nobody wants that. So let's just zoom back in one more time. And if you can see, I do have some pretty um, defined like smile lines right here. But the foundation applied really smooth and really well. And it looks like this is going to make an amazing primer. I actually will probably be using it pretty often because it does smell good and my skin feels really like moisturized as opposed to just covered up. So <clears throat> I guess I would have to say that this product is definitely a win for me. Just to show this product again. So I hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you want to join Influencer, I'll put my referral link down there. Like always, you don't have to use my link. Um, you can just go to the regular Influencer website, but if you want to help your girl out and get me some impact points, that would be awesome. So thanks, you guys.